At the cross. As last as my Savior pleased, and did my would he devote that sacred head from such a world as I is at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away? It was there by I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for pride that I have come and grown upon the tree? And 
and now I am happy all the day. <coughs> Our scripture lesson for this morning is found in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 41 to 50. This is 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 41 to 50. Again, it's for Samuel chapter 17, verse 41 to verse 50. <coughs> for Samuel chapter 17, verses 41 to 50. Meanwhile, the Philistine, with his shield bearer in front of him, kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was no more than a boy, belonged with health and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I will give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and shield, I mean spear and javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it, was, that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you, give all of you into our hands. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet him, reaching to his bag and taking out a stone. He slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. And so, Stones sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. May God bless and edify to our hearts. We will be no soul of you may be seated. <coughs> We come to the hour of prayer. Praise and exhortation. As we go back and we'll go before our God, our Creator, leaving on the throne of tender grace and mercy, those things that may be burning us down, that may be concerning us. Things that we, not, we cannot of ourselves deal with. Those things that we need to seek the Lord's help in which to deal with. So at this time, before we go for Lord in prayer, we want to open the door 
at the church for a few minutes to receive any and all prayer requests that may come forward at this time. And those who are tuning in, you can also take this time to leave on by the phone those <coughs> prayer requests you may have, whether it be family, friends, co workers, neighbors, whoever, and whatever it is, this is the time to leave on the throne of grace. church just for that day. We ask that you just bless everything and all the planning, all the people. Send those that you want to be there for. We just thank you for everything that you've done. Continue to be able to bless Italian and keep him well and keep him strong that he might be able to continue to be the Lord. Look after the Rector family who now uh, Carolyn and Tara have mourned the loss of not only a brother but also a father. Um, not even less than a year ago. They buried the, the son of the brother. And these two ladies are very, were very dependent on their the men in their household. So we just ask that you bless the whole family. Given God is glory through the Son Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of your blessings. Continue to bless this church and everyone in the Continue to bless the two on the block of Ashley Street. My family, my children, my grandchildren. <coughs> My employer and all the employees and their families to the Lord. Through Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Spirit bearing this turn 
the house will look upside down and you realize that they can't do anything apart from you. Yes. And that the children are suffering behind what has been going on. And they will have the answers sooner or later to what they have done and what they have not chosen to do. With that said, we want to prepare our hearts and minds. We go forth before our Lord and our Creator. Must you repair the cross alone? <clears throat> All the world go free. No bears a cross for everyone, and there's a cross just for you. Follow so many people bearing the crosses today. Rest of the time, as we as we look up, they're carrying the crosses of mourning, the crosses of emotional pain, with the passing of their beloved husband and father. We just pray, Father, that you would just be a light in that particular family, that you move in their lives and help them to organize themselves in such a way that. They'll be able to continue on even without that source of income coming in. Did you arrange it that they will be able to move in a place that's affordable? A place that's close enough for them to get from point A to point B. You just leave by Sister ran off on the, on the phone. She's been ill for a while, but she's bouncing back. She's not quite herself 100%, but she has to turn back to the vineyard and is worshiping the Lord. Not able to pray yet, but you have certainly put her a long way. You just leave them in the Macedonian family on the throne at this time. The Father just come to this morning just thanking and praising you, Lord. Watching over us throughout the midst of last night, yes. allowing us to get so much need of rest and sleep. We thank you, Lord, as you that you uh, dispatch your angels once again to our bedside this morning, allowing us to rise up from our bed to sleep in slumbers. Yes. Lord, hope us in our right mind that we might come out. To fellowship and to praise and worship you holy and righteous name. And be with us all as we continue, Lord, to tweak and improve our Facebook live streaming experience. We know that is a work in progress, Father. But we leave all in your hands and we leave all in your throne. Yes. And that you will work for that, Father. You will show us and lead us. In the direction that you have us to live. I would just thank you for your son Jesus who died that we might live. And we just pray for all of that at last <coughs> that you will always shower down your Holy Spirit upon us. Fresh and anew each and every day, Lord, that we rise up from our beds of sleep and slumber. Yes, that it might be our guide of course, that it be That thing that disciplines us, Lord. That be that thing that keeps us focused on you, the authenticity of our life, Dad. We just thank you, Father, that we your blessings that we get today. We thank you, Lord, for those who are in our presence, those that could not come, those that may still be on the way. We just thank and praise you for them. Then, Father, we recognize that we Send it all show you the glory this week and we ask Father that you just forgive us right now. So you would cleanse us. Lord that you would strengthen us. There's only God that you is so we don't even able to do. That you would just not only cleanse us individually, that you would cleanse us co collectively, that nothing would be held to our account. That you, you might still, Lord, be moving us. Making us ready for when you will send in the increase our way. We thank you, Lord, for Nicole, who is coming on the second Sundays. We just hope, Lord, that the righteous 
It still remains to be here with us whenever she can. We're glad to have her and we are blessed because of it. So bless Father, strengthen to keep us throughout in the midst of this day, prepare us for the week to come. And then Father, I feel it that's said before, Lord, we ask for prayer as we are in the final stages of planning for our community awareness and ministry of every day. Lord, keep us focused, keep us on task, that things will be done in a very lordly fashion that led us well to the various stores this week that we might get the kind of help that we need, Lord, and just be able to supplement what we get to ensure that those who come out on August 24th will have something already to eat. So bless us, Father. Stand bless you, keep us. This happy way is only you can have. Because in Jesus' name, we be pray and ask for thanksgiving. We'll come to a <clears throat> portion of our service where we all can participate as we get back to God. As the usher prepare to come on the first day, standing in the gap. Just ask that you be mindful that you can. I'll give God given that all that you have, it all belongs to God. And those who are coming in, there's a link on, should be a link on your screen, PayPal and Cash App, and if the Spirit is moving, you do so. Uh, you bless Lighthouse with a small financial offering, it will be together. Thankful and blessed to be to So happy day. That's when you came on. It's in Jesus' name we pray. We say in our face, come with you, Lord. All things come of evil, Lord, and our final as we get of thee. Amen. 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 I have a song that plays right now.
when all our praise and attention should be given. The only larger in life is you. That can provide for what we need in life. Some of you may remember the wrestler or the name Andre the Giant. A name given to this wrestler because of his tremendous weight and height. He weighed in at over 500 pounds and stood seven foot five inches tall. A massive man in his day, a truly larger than life figure. There's also Shaquille O'Neal and Will Chain, yeah. who both stood over seven feet tall and weighed close to or more than 300 pounds. Larger in a life figures, both on the basketball court and in life. But there's also great historical figures such as the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, John F. Kennedy, and even Winston Churchill. Figures from the past who are bigger than life because of their great achievements and even greater resolve. But our scripture lesson today speaks of another figure that was larger than life, one who was feared by King Solomon and the entire Israelite army. Our scripture takes us back to the time of the confrontation between David and Goliath. David confronted the fearless Philistine Goliath, who towered far above him and possessed brute strength and unrivaled weapons such as bronze armor and a lethal razor edged javelin. David, on the other hand, only had a slingshot yes. as he confronted the Philistines' greatest warrior. We all know this narrative and how Goliath had challenged Israel to engage in battle, only to find that no one would fight. And in step, little David, skinny little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. Certainly not a worthy challenger for Goliath. One who instilled fear in all the men of Israel. What I'm trying to make lighthouse is that Goliath dominated the vision of King Solomon in the, and the Israelite army, while David only saw God. It's amazing what you can do and what you're willing to face if your focus is completely upon the Lord. Amen. David knew that God would deliver him from the hands of this massive specimen of a man. He knew the victory was already his, even before the battle started. <clears throat> While everyone else believed that your life controlled that situation, that time and place on the battlefield, David believed that God was big. Yes, yes. David's words were what I have? The Lord will deliver the life into my hands. And because God loomed or appeared bigger in the mind of David, what he normally would not be able to do with a slingshot. He was able to do that and exceedingly more by slaying the great warrior of the Philistines. As we travel through life, we are often tempted to believe that our own Goliaths control our story. Yes. That they control our situations in life. But God is larger than any of the situations we have ever been in and might be in as we continue our journey in life. What's dominating your life? Who is in control of your situations? 
and your personal stories. Is it God or is it your reliance in life? It's time to take a stand. What will be your choice? Will you be like King Solomon and the Israelite army? And be consumed with fear? Or will you be like David? Fearless. Because God was with him. Yes. And he already knew. Even before he confronted for a lot that the victory is already his. God bless those y'all for tuning in. We pray you keep on tuning in to our broadcast. Just want you to know that on August 24th, as you've seen in the announcements, those you have taken time to read it, we will be hosting our 10th anniversary of an outreach ministry in this community up at Cave Park. We'll be there. The festivities start at 11 and end at 4. We ask you to come on by, be a part of our fellowship there as we get back to this community and be a blessing to them. God bless you once and all. One and all.